is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is do outer planets have smaller orbital periods than inner planets. So uh, let's kind of make a little table of the orbital periods in Earth years. So um, an orbital period is how long it takes that planet to orbit the Sun. So for Mercury is 0.24 so it takes about a quarter of a year. For Venus is 0 0.62. For Earth is obviously one. It takes us one year to orbit the Sun. For Mars is 1.88. For Jupiter is 11.86. For Saturn is 29.46. For Uranus is 84.01. And for Neptune is 163.8. So as you can see, the numbers of the inner planets are quite small, right? The, the longest uh, orbital period is Mars, and that's uh, nearly two years of Earth. Now, when we look at the outer planets, we see that the numbers increase quite a lot. And um, this is expected, right? Uh, these planets are very far from the sun, so they actually have to cover a, large or a larger path. So another relationship to think about this and, um, is that the orbital period square is proportional to the semi-major axis cubed. So what is the semi-major axis? So when you look at the orbit of a planet, is elliptical. This distance from the center to along the, lar the largest line of the ellipse is the semi-major axis, meaning if the planet is really far away, this A is going to be a lot larger. Therefore, the period is going to increase as it goes, it increases directly proportionally to that. So as you can tell, the outer planets are going to have um, longer orbital periods than the inner planets. My name is Eileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the outer planets have smaller orbital periods than inner planets. Yeah.